incredible, incredible stuff. I mean, look, when we were in the same class, when we were right. in the same school, I didn't even know you were an, an Obama. Well, I didn't know. Right. I didn't, you were right. just Mark Desangio. Right. That guy who plays piano, you know, accomplished pianist and, you know, smart guy. You're a smart yeah. guy. And you played football now and then. You were pretty okay. You were right. Not, okay. not as good as some of us, but you were right. Yeah. But um, that's, that's all we knew. And then later on, we discovered this. And obviously, you and your brother have had a relationship. Yes. You know, the, uh, my f at that time, you know, for many, many years, I didn't want much to do with the Obama name. And uh, because of the experiences that I had when I was young. But my mother was very fortunate because she married uh, Simeon DeSanjo, yes. whom you've met, actually. Indeed. And he was a man with a big heart. And he made her four promises, uh, one of which was to get me a piano, you know, when he married. And I took his name out of pride. And it was Barack, though, along with China in many ways, that changed that for me. And my book talks about that so process of self-discovery and also the pride that I felt for the first time in 30 years when I saw my brother and millions of people changing the world. A lot of that hard crust inside dissolved. Mm. And I became proud of the Obama name. And now, it's, it's ironic because in many ways the things that I'm doing right now, the music, uh, helping kids to learn music, uh, also trying to follow my dream, writing, I've been doing all my life. And I would have done them had he not been president. But what happened is that uh, I realize I am an Obama, and I'm proud of it. Mm. And if I can use it in some way, particularly for social things, to make a difference in the lives of kids, for example, I have no hesitation in doing it.